Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and today we are going full gas. It's five days since I last did five days worth of genuinely approachable Sudoku puzzles, and I'm going back in today. We're going to be doing the puzzles that were on the daily Sudoku channel on the Discord server from the 17th to the 21st of July, uh, which will involve two by Philip, two by Clover, and one by Sam, the excellent authors of those puzzles over there. And um, I will be planning to read out the screeds that they've written about them and the rules um, and go through them in a moment. Now, before that, and if the drilling allows, um, I do want to mention that there's only three days left now on the Patreon competition, uh, which is also genuinely approachable. So if you're a fan of these videos because you like that stuff, if you've come to this late because you've been going through the playlist of gas videos, um, then do check out the August 2022 um, Patreon monthly reward, which was three gen, which is at the moment as I'm speaking, three genuinely approachable Sudoku stroke puzzle puzzles, um, and has been very popular. We've had thousands of correct entries. We thank everybody who has sent them in and said kind things about the puzzle, which is most um, and excellent. That's over there. There will be a crossword going up later this week as well on Patreon, so always lots of content happening there as well. Um, and once the deadline's over, we'll be putting up a video of the solutions too, so um, to, to the GASP puzzles. So that's going on there. Do check out the other links under the video, uh, or maybe under other videos for all of our apps. Uh, there isn't always room under this video to fit them all in. And uh, and our merchandise and Sven Sudoku pad, etc. Now, the first five links under the video, no, the first ten links, because there's two for each puzzle, will be to these puzzles. Why are there two for each puzzle? Because most people like to play them on the tiny URL link, but some need the F puzzles link because they can't use tiny URL. So that's why there are two links to each puzzle. Anyway, let me go through what the authors have said about these puzzles, starting with this Connect the Dots by Philip that's on screen. It's just human nature to take time to connect the dots, I know that. But I also know that there can be a day of reckoning when you wish you'd connected the dots more quickly. That's a quote from Al Gore. Today's gas is a killer crop key pairs Sudoku. Wow. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits in cages cannot repeat. That's obvious. And must sum to the total given. Digits in cells separated by a white dot must be consecutive. Have a difference of one. Digits in cells separated by a black dot must have a ratio of two to one. There's no negative constraint, so other pairs of digits might also be consecutive or have a two to one ratio. Then there are some times for getting two party hats or one party hat for quick solves. And other solvers will receive a doting Dongyangosaurus. Then we go on to the next puzzle, which is by Clover. It's called First Impression. According to WikiHow, here are some simple steps to, fo to follow to succeed at this First Impression Sudoku. Prepare talking points beforehand, set clear goals for the Sudoku, identify any stakes, and develop a personal elevator pitch. Dress your best and try to schedule the Sudoku if you can. When you get there, smile and offer an appropriate greeting. Practice active listening and pay attention to the Sudoku's interest level, adjusting your approach to keep it engaged and leave it wanting more. And that's what you need for a great first impression. Sounds simple enough, so I expect lots and lots of party hats today. Normal Sudoku rules apply also. Digits in grey squares must be greater than both the first digit in their row and the first digit in their column. For instance, if the grey square in row 4, column 2 contains a 6, then, which oh, row four, column two, why don't I listen? If that one was a six, then those two cells would both have to be less than six. Um, and then there's party hat times and the dinosaur is an impressive ingenia. Um, and then we go on to, ah, Sam's puzzle is also called First Impressions. And it looks like it has exactly the same rules, it does. Um, how often do you get the chance to make a second first impression, says Sam. Today is such an opportunity. Refer to Clover's above advice if you want to make the most of it. Uh, it gives the rules and the party hats and there's a secondary Spinosaurus. And there, oh, look at that. Okay, they've done it as a trio again. We go on to Philip, who doesn't like these similar titles and calls his a lasting impression. 
Um, I know what you're thinking, he says. Clover and Sam did the same variant again. Surely Philip won't copy them. And you're right, but only because I tested their puzzles right after taking Benadryl for my allergies. And in my drugged state, this is the rule set I came up with. And then we go through the rules again. It's a first impression. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Philip has changed it up. In this case, digits in grey cells must have a value between the left and rightmost digits of their row and between the top and bottommost digits of their column. Right. Note, the first digit in the row or column doesn't have to be the smaller digit. So either the first digit is smaller than all the grey cells and the last digit is bigger, or the first digit is bigger than all the grey cells and the last digit is smaller. Yes, I see that's a logical corollary. Uh, then there's the party to their party hat times and all other solvers will receive a sandwiched Samian Tesaurus. So I'm going to have to remember when I'm racing on these puzzles that when I get to the third one, the rules have changed. Right. So Clover on the last one says, ah, this refers to the other thread where people reply. I enjoyed seeing all of the names you proposed for yesterday's variant. So here's a spicy riff on the same idea. You're allowed to come up with a name for this variant too. But since it already has a name, this time there's the added risk of infuriating the entire Sudoku community to make things a little more exciting. Today's guess is a variant formerly known as Odd Even Count Sudoku. So normal Sudoku rules apply. An odd digit in a grey cell tells you how many of the surrounding cells, including diagonals, contain odd digits. No. Yes, it does. And an even digit tells you how many of the surrounding cells contain even digits. So four of those cells are even digits. That's what it means. The digit in the cell itself is not included in the count. And the dinosaur on that last one is an innominate Isanosaurus. So there we go. Those are the puzzles today. I am going to try them as quickly as I can, talking all the while nonetheless. Um, oh, look at the uh, ascending cages here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. What happened to number 10? Anyway, I'm going to have a go at this now. I'm going to reset my clock so I know my time. Let's get cracking. Um, right, that's obviously a 1, 2, and a 4 cage is 1 and 3. That must be 2, 4. Didn't really need the black dot there. Ah, oh, this digit has to be 5 on the white dot. So this cage is now a 2-3 cage. Oh, look, they've all got um, white dots in. So we know they're the consecutive pairs that make those numbers, these odd ones. 6-7 there, so that gives us 5-6. That's 4-5. I can do the order. Don't know about that. This is, oh, well, it's got a black dot, so that's 8-4. That's 8-7. That's 9-7. Doesn't matter. We don't need a dot to tell us that. This must now be 8-6. Ah, and this digit's a 5. This is obviously 9-8. Right. So I didn't get the 8 cage done. Interesting. And I don't think... It could be 1-7 or 2-6. I'm going I'm to go out on a limb and say that. Right. So I can put a 5 in here by Sudoku. I can... Yeah, I want to know. Let's have a look at this cage. Three, yes. Four, eight, six, seven, five, three. One, two, nine are the remaining digits. That can't be a nine because of the black dot. I nearly said the black death there. Black dots are not the same as the black death. Right, we've had a one, two pair in the column, so that's four. Those can't be two. I don't know why I put that in. Um, one, four, two, three, five. This is a seven, nine pair. So that's a six, eight up here. We've got a seven to put in box one, nine and five. Finish the box. That's a one. That's a nine. Four, eight are done. I can see looking down and a couple of pairs that I can't resolve. Oh, I can resolve that one. Thanks to the eight, nine. Right. We've Mm, seven six there. Uh, four five six two three. Oh, that's eight or nine. Uh, where do I go next? Is this done yet? No, I don't think it is. Seven eight nine four. We get a four in one of those cells. Well, it's not next to a seven on a white dot, so that's quite straightforward. Okay, that fixes three, four. 
We're going to need a 4 in one of those in a moment. This has to be 6, it can't be 8. Got a 1, 2, 3 triple. That's 1, 2, or 3 as well. This is on a white dot, and it can't be with 4, so that's another number out of 1, 2, and 3. That one can't be 2 anymore, interestingly. Um, and I've got a bit slowed down here. 5, 6, 8, 9, 7. There is a 4 there, I keep saying that. Hmm, 7, 8, and 9 here, and I know that's not a 9 and that's not a 7. Oh, that 3 says that's 1 or 2. One of those is a 3 and that's not. Oh, it never was a 3, of course. Um, oh, come on. Oh, there must be a 1 or 2 in that cage, so that forms a virtual pair with that. So this becomes 8. Interesting. That was a surprising revelation. This is six or seven. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it doesn't finish it off. Right. There must be a three in these. Six must have got used there somewhere. And seven here. One, two, five, and nine. That can't be nine. That can't be one. Okay, I'm not getting the progress I want there. Um, I keep telling myself that 4 is here. I might as well pencil mark it finally. 1, 6, 7, 2, 3. I, ah, 7, 8 pair up the middle column. I was missing a little pear trick in Sudoku. A little partridge in a pear tree, perhaps. Um, now, does that get everything done? No. I need a 6 in column 6, of course. Uh, six, nine, four, eight, seven. That is a five, in fact. So that can't be five. Now that's a one, two, six, seven set. So these are five, nine. Which doesn't advance the cause either. Four, eight, and nine are possible up here. Seven, eight, nine, six, five. Oh! Right, I've got a bit bogged down here. Oh no, look, eight is looking at this bottom thing, eight. Um, that's gonna put a nine, I don't know where, in one of those positions. Eight, one, two, three, four, five. In fact, these are from six, seven, and nine. Three and eight must be a pair here. Oh, that's a one. That's become available ages ago, and I couldn't spot it. Bother, 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 bother. So that's six and one. That makes that seven and nine. Right, now we're, now we're getting there. Eight, nine, five, nine. Sorry if you've had to shout at the screen to unstick me there. It does sometimes happen. That's become a two, three, two. Two, uh, three, one, that must be five. Four and three to finish off. So I don't think that's too bad at all. Oh, six minutes, 14 seconds. Could just have missed the two hat time, but probably not, I would have thought. Um, yeah, interesting. I was just missing individual bits, but they were mainly to do with white dots, which is pretty poor. And that, that pair up the middle, the 8-7 pair, was it there, I think? Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to go on to the first impression. Now, this one just relates to the first cell in the row in the column, which has to be smaller than the grey cell. Okay, let's find out how this works. Let's get cracking. Oh, well, the 2 is very helpful. That puts 1s there. The 3, therefore, puts 2s there. The 4... No, and it needs a three there. This four needs a three there. Wow, okay, they are... Oh, no, there's a five. thought I'd exhausted all the grey givens. That needs a four at the top. This six needs a four there. And that's very clever. Right, so then we get nine, eight, six, seven. That's a five, nine, eight. And row one and column one are all done, which really ought to help with the grey cells if I have time to analyse them. Um, 
Well, especially in columns where they're big, yes. So that's an 8, 9. 7, 9, 8. Oh, not so many big numbers. These have to be bigger than 5, though. Right, yeah, that is good. So they're 7 and 6. Um, now, in this box, I need a 1, a 5, and a 4. That's the 5, that's the 4, that's the 1. Right, I suspect I've largely used the information from the rule. That's a naked 3. Gives me a 3 there. Uh, 7 in the column is there. 8 and 9. 4 and 5 finishes box 2. That's got to be bigger than 4. That's quite interesting. It makes it a 7, I think. Okay, that was worth doing. 1, 2 and 5. One of those is a 5. One of these is a 6. Looking along the middle row here. Okay, 4, 2. Yes, I can do it all. 9, 3. That is 6 or 7, and the rule doesn't tell me which. About this, this is bigger than 3. 8, 9, 4, 7, so it's 5 or 6. That's a 2, 6 pair. This is 1, that's 9, that's 8, that's 1. Okay, the rule's not doing anything for me there. That's a 9 by the rule, which is always going to win. This is 1 or 6 by Sudoku, and it can't be 1 by the rule. Okay, that's good. So, 1 there, 7 there. Uh, 9, 6, 7, 8, we get 5, don't know. Look at this column, 1 and 3, that's good. 4 in this box, yes, 6, 2, 7, 1, 2... 8 and 6 in these cells, that's still to be resolved. 5 and 4 here, can't do 1 and 2 at the bottom. Um, 7 is placed, 1 is now placed, then I can do 3 and 6. And that's going to unwind my pairs. And that's going to place that as a 2, 5, 6, 2 and 1. 3 minutes 17. So I think Clover really has made that approachable by just leading us through 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the marked squares. I suspect Sam's may turn out to be a cut more difficult than that. But thank you, Clover. Right, let's have a go at Sam's puzzle now. Oh, he's got lots of different numbers in the grey cells. Okay, so let's try the same sort of thing. 1 for the 2s. 3 then needs 2s. 4 then needs 3s, 5 then needs 4s. Okay, Sam's done that even more clearly. I should have, should have guessed he might have the same sort of idea. 6 there, that has to be a 6 because there's a 5 in the box. 8 needs a 7. Uh, let's just be careful there. That's not necessarily a 7. 5 or 7 there. This is an 8. Um, yeah, I don't see how to disambiguate the rest of those. But everything else in row one and column one is just a write in effectively. Six, five, eight, three, seven, nine, one, three, four, two. This can't no, I don't know. No help from the clue from the from the rule for that. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at that. Ah, that's got to be a nine, because it's bigger than seven. Yes. Let's look at the other grey cells. That is bigger than 6, and now it can't be 9. That is bigger than 4, and it can't be 5, 6, 8, or 9. I doubt that I can do this. 6, 5, 8, 3, 4, 7. So it has to be 9. I can do that. This one, not so much. has to be bigger than 5. Can't be 2, 3, 8, or 1. 6, 7, or 9, I think. Oh, well, it can't be 7, because there's a 7 in one of those cells. OK. That's a 1, 2 pair. I can do them as well. That's a 7 and 4. Uh, 9, 5, 6, 8 in that column. Don't know how to do that. Or the next column. Oh, what about these, then? This has to be bigger than 5, and it can't be 6 or 8. 7 or 9. This has to be bigger than 6. And it can't be 7 or 9, so that's an 8. 
Okay, so that gets the eight placed up at the top. Get a one here by Sudoku. Seven here, I hadn't spotted that that was available. Eight there. Two, seven, three, four, five, six, that's eight. Right, one, nine. The pencil marking turned out to be helpful, which I had thought wasn't gonna be the case. Nine, eight. We need a one there, we get a six in one of those. Um, ah, that place is a one there by Sudoku, okay. Hmm, it's not, not collapsing entirely at this point. That's a 7-5 pet, right. Maybe I just need to be better at Sudoku for it to collapse more. 6-8 and a 2-3 pair. That's 4 or 6. 3-1-7-2-4 um, now. 9 is there. Ah, Sudoku is your friend. So often that is true. 6-5. Then we've got 2-3 and 4 in the remaining row 6 digits. Five, three, one, eight, six. That is two or four. I'm just wondering about the rule. If that was seven, no, it wouldn't spoil any. Ah, oh, this. I think they're going to be connected by the rule, but I don't know how to do it yet. Oh, nine in this column. Oh, in fact, this is a naked single in row four. Right. Okay. That's a two-five pair now. That's a three-six pair. These are from 479, and that's where 2 goes. Oh, this is a 4-5 pair that's not resolved. That's 5 or 6. 6, 9, 1, 8, 7, 2. That can't be 2. Wow, this really isn't giving up now. That is a weird sextuple giving me a 4 there which means I can place four in the middle and then three. Okay, that's good. Now, they don't have a four, they're a two, three pair. We've got seven, five, and six to put in here. Oh, why is it not getting any easier? One, nine, eight, two, three, four. I mean, there is a four, five, six, seven quad there. Ah, so that's a three, and that's a two, good lord. That's quite hard to spot. I suspect I'm just making a meal of things. Uh, five, but that does seem to be unwinding these final columns quite nicely. We get a five there. That's gonna do the top seven, five, and row. No, not quite all of row eight. Now, six and seven here, they must be doable, they are. And six there. Yes, now I can do nine and seven here, and it's obeying the rule. Just spotted that loose five, four pair. And then we go up nine there is certainly obeying the rule. Six and four, and that's the answer. So five minutes 33, a bit harder from Sam, but not because the beginning was harder, which was what I expected. The beginning was actually easier with all these numbers, um, but the end, the, the middle bit was harder. Excellent. Now, different rules for Philip uh, for Philip's version. Yes, these are between the top and the bottom. Okay, right. Let's go. So, yes, in this column, one must be at the bottom because it must be one of them. This row needs a one, and it's got to be there. This row needs a nine, and that goes there. This row needs a nine, and that goes there. Nice symmetrical disposition. So. Sudoku now, nine there. Um, one in the row here goes there. Right, I'm gonna have to use the rule again. One of these is an eight now, because they can't be nine, so it's eight there. Uh, can I do that again? In this column, one of them is an eight, but I don't know which one, that's different. Nine. Now I should finish off nines if I can, but I can't. Um, six, nine, three, eight, 
4 by Sudoku, 7 in the middle row, that's 2 or 3, these are from 2, 3 and 6, there's no grey cells in this row. Um, I'm probably not using R2 needs to be at one end of this or the other. It doesn't really help. Oh, one must not be at the end, I suppose. I don't know. No, one could be in either of those places. That's not sensible as a thought. Hmm. Three, four, five. No, I'm not going about this skillfully. Not really understanding the point of the rule, I think. One in this column is there. And I'm left with an... No, it's a not quite an X-wing of ones. It's a triple. Four, eight. So does it help to know twos in one of those cells? Don't see how. This can't be where four goes, so it's seven or eight. This has to be lower than four, so it's two or three. I don't, I mean, it's a very tricky way to play around with this. One of these is an eight, but I don't know which one. And the other one is two or three. Oh, okay, so that forms a two, three, eight triple with that. Wow, that's funky. So five or nine there, one or five there, one five or nine here. And that doesn't really help. Mmm, Philip's got me again, hasn't he? I'm just going to mark the things I know as though it means anything useful. Nine's in one of those, I think, yeah. About one in the centre. Ah! They're a pair with ones. Okay, let's cross out that. So, these include an eight, therefore, and that doesn't. And therefore, this is eight in the, in the row I'm in, row three. No, this can't be two. And that can't be three. I don't think that's going to help. Yeah, I'm just missing a one connection here to, to get this really moving. Three must be in one of those cells in this box. And that makes this a two. Now we've got three and six left to place in the column. Two is in one of those cells. That doesn't get it done. Um... Wow, I don't know if you can hear the rain falling like I can. We've had these bursts lately. It's suddenly started now. Nine, five, one, two, eight. Ah, that's six or seven, because I know there's an eight in one of those. So, oh, there can't be a two there. There's a given two in the column already. <sighs> two there, so eight, three, not three. In fact, four. Two, four, three... These are from five, eight, and nine. Come on, six, seven, nine, eight, four, three. That's two or five. One, two, or five. Now, what's the rule saying here? One of them has to be lower than three. So that's two at the top. Oh, if that's been available since I at least put that in. Ah, oh, Muppet. That can't be five by the rule. Oh, it can't be nine by the row. Um, right now, five, two, nine, one, no, that's six or seven. Why does Philip always produce the hardest ones? Or is it just that I can't do them? I think it's that. Seven, four, one, eight, three, six, so I should try and use these twos that I'm suddenly finding. But I don't know how. Three, six, one, seven, eight, four. So that is two or five. These include a nine. Eight, one, two, nine, four, three. 
That is three or four. Two, three or four there. It's, it's not the rule. I don't think the rule's got any more work to do. Oh, yes, it... No, it's done it there. This has to be low, that's all. Two or five is low enough. Eight, six, four, seven. Three in the row has to be... Oh, of course, that eight on the end tells you that that three eight pair is resolved. Gosh, I'm really stumbling around in this puzzle now. There's a five up there. Two, eight, nine, one. I mean, I think, I'm, oh, that's become a seven by Sudoku. That eight at the top, I've missed its implications twice now. Six, three, six. Oh, that really did unwind a lot suddenly. Good Lord, four there. That's a two, seven pair. So this is four, six, eight. I don't think I've got the information below to deal with that. And this is three, five, same story. But this can't be six. So that's four or eight. Now, that four sees this, right? That is good. That's a very clever setup for a puzzle, by the way. There, that wasn't meant to be four. I was meant to take four out of that. I haven't used that yet. That was just a misprint, right? Seven there. Six or eight here. This is now a one, two pair. Three, six, seven. So that's a six, right? Eight, four, seven, three. That's become an eight. That's a six. Four and seven here. Two and seven up there. That's not two. That's not two. That's two. Now it's thunder outside. Five, nine, one, nine, one, two, five, one, and finally five, nine, and in the corner it must be six and five. There we go. Eight minutes twenty-two. I will have wasted my hat finally there on the fourth puzzle. Well done, Philip. That's good stuff. It's an interesting puzzle, an interesting setup. Didn't look that hard, and it was to me. Right, odd even count. Yes, this is a sort of minesweepery thing. So, one odd digit in that circle, for instance. Okay, let's set the clock and go. Th right, three odds around there. Okay, they're nine, five, and seven. It's Clover starting the top left corner. That's a six. This is Sudoku now. Four, eight, finish the box. Right, one odd round here, and we've got it. It's a seven. So, everything else is even. That's a two. Hmm, interesting. Now, this only has two evens around it. Oh, but they have to be six and eight. And we know where they go. Okay, so this has three odds. And those two have both got to be odd. Because all the evens have been used in that box. So that's going to be even. Um... Hmm, I don't want to have to spend my time doing counts of this particularly. Two, six, one, seven, nine, and yet I may have to. Right. Just seeing if there's any... Oh, I can put four in the top row. That's good. One, six, eight, triple. That's a five, seven pair. I know the order. I know the order of three, nine above it. I know the order of two, one there, and three, nine below. Okay, so filling in those was a lot easier than I expected. That's five or nine. Um, two. That's seven, though. So that's also five or nine. So let's look along the row, then. That seems to be what it's telling me to do. There's a naked single. That's one or two. That's a three, nine pair. That's a better row. OK, so four and two. That makes one and five. A one, seven pair there. 268 as a triple still to resolve. That's become 86. Uh, 789, that's also not 3, so that is, that's a 5 in the I wing. 857, can't do 169 fully. Ah, right, I've still got these. Okay, so this 4, ooh, they're all odd. 
So the evens are all up here. That's weird, isn't it? So that's a two. This is not four or two, it's six or eight. So that's giving us a six, eight pair. So that's not six, that is six, because that's not six. Seven, six, eight, two. Can't believe I'm going to have to use these much. But then I didn't believe that about the other thing that I did then immediately use. Uh, four, two, that has to be an eight, does it? Yes, it does. So one at the top, seven at the bottom, that's a five. Six, nine, five, that's an eight. Uh, six, nine, five, three, eight. Seven is there. These are one, two, and four. Well, okay, well, they, this one, I must be able to tell what that is. Just if it was a one, it would be impossible because there's at least two odds, so it's a four. And I'll assume the count is right then. This is a one, two pair that may yet become part of a deadly pattern because I can't see how the rest are resolved. Oh, I probably can. Yes, one here, now I can. That's a two, so I don't need to do the calculation there. Two, six, I know it wouldn't take long, but I still begrudge the time because I'm mean. Four, two, nine, one, nine, five, nine. And I prefer to fly through the rest of the puzzle like a Sudoku. Uh, and that's a four, and I think that does it. Three minutes, 48. So let's check that now. Two evens around it, there they are. One odd, yes. Four evens, yes. And that makes it work. Very nice setup of that puzzle, but once you get on a roll, that one goes. So that's nice. So it's just Philip's second puzzle there really, really clonked me, I think. It's possible I lost a hat in his first one as well. I don't know. But anyway, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed those puzzles. can't imagine if you tried them that you didn't enjoy them. I think they're really clever. Um, and they remind me that we will have a gas app coming out fairly soon. And it'll have loads more puzzles like this. But there is also a playlist of these videos. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, as always, on the channel. And uh, I really hope to see you again soon. Next time, tomorrow. Bye for now.